Hey actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood talent manager in LA, California. Had to, uh, I had to stop what I'm doing and address this immediately because this is outrageous. I just got an email from a viewer who wrote, I live in Toronto, Canada. I want to become an actor in Hollywood. I started watching your videos about two days ago and I felt really good about myself because every time I do a play in class, people say that my acting was really good. And I felt happy because I love acting. But today I watched your video, Will Being Black Limit My Acting Career? And after watching the video, I felt really sad because my skin color is olive. <sighs> so my question is, since I'm not white, does that mean I can't become an actor? And is there something I can do about it? Thank you for taking your time on reading this. I'm 14. I'm planning on joining my school's theater council in January and taking acting and accent reduction classes every summer. I had to stop my work and tell you this immediately. Listen, kiddo, skin color has nothing to do with what you're going to become in your life. I want everyone to understand that. I don't want you to misconstrue my video in any way, shape, or form. Actors come in all colors. Actors come in all colors. And so do lawyers, doctors, veterinarians, business owners, general contractors, police officers, firemen, senators. Doesn't matter what you do with your life. Actors and everyone else come in all colors. So yes, there are less roles for non-whites in show business, and there always have been, but that's changing and that's growing. Uh, it took years and years and years for someone black to win an Academy Award, you know. And when Sidney Poitier won it, it, it was the first time a black had ever been nominated, had, uh, had ever won for Best Actor. I think Hattie from Gone with the Wind might have been nominated for Best Supporting Actors, but there had never been a black uh, Oscar winner. And even today, when Holly Berry won for Best Actress, they still categorize her African American, even though she's biracial. I guess they don't, they're never going to have a biracial award. I don't know. Race is a crazy thing in, in America. It really is, and maybe in the world, but in the United States for sure. We've overcome a lot in this country, coming from slavery, coming from segregation, coming from white supremacy to black equality. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard road for the United States, but I don't want anybody of color to ever think that they can't become what they dream of because of the history that this country has come through. If you're alive today, you're probably in the best time the United States has ever been in in terms of race. And it doesn't mean that there are not severe racial problems as a result of what this country has gone through. There are still terrible effects of racism and there are still areas where this country struggles deeply with it. But there are more opportunities today for black folks or people of color than there ever have been in this country, ever. So I don't want you to think about like, oh my God, I'm black, I'm brown, I'm olive. What can I do with my life? You're going to think about your goals, what you dream of, what God placed in your heart to become, the steps that it takes to get there, and take the actions to do it. Believe in yourself 100% all the way and make things happen. Keep your mind on the positive. We can't control everybody's behavior and thinking in the world. And so don't focus on that. What we can control is ourselves and our own actions. And in this day and age, honey, you can raise the money and put yourself as the lead in a, in a feature film. No one can stop you from becoming who you're meant to become. No one. So remember that as you go forward in your life, all of you who are watching that, you are in charge of your own destiny. And you can create whatever you set your mind to. Work hard at it, plan, and take solid action, fearless action. There is no stopping you. Comprendi? I guess we live in a multilingual American and Spanish culture in the United States now, so everything is in Spanish. And sometimes when that bothers me, I think, you know, when I go to Europe, 
things are written in German and English or French and English or Dutch and English. And, you know, other countries have multi languages too. We all need to be more tolerant of each other and our differences and our similarities and let that draw us and unite us. Enough said. I love you all. Go have a good night. And um, share below if you have any comments to make about this.